Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, so if you guys are familiar with GitHub pages at all, you've probably seen a page kind of looking like this, just a basic markdown web page. It's pretty easy to turn your GitHub repository into a GitHub pages. If you guys want to see a video of me showing how to turn a repository into a web page on GitHub, uh, leave a comment down below. And it's nice because you can assign like a URL to your web page. Like this is my, this is just a sample web page I'm working on called radiation modeling for a research project I'm doing. But here I have my all my markdown files, and here's my web page. Now, as you guys can see, it's very plain, right? It's just a white page, a basic markdown look to it with the you know big titles and then just the bullet points, all that stuff. Um, However, there is a way to apply a theme to these pages. So here on this website is all the supported themes. And I'll leave a link down in the description to this website. And I haven't seen any of these yet. I've seen the architect, but I haven't seen the rest of them. So I'll be blindly reacting to all these themes, putting them on my radiation modeling website. All right, guys. So here we have the architect theme. So I'm going to kind of go through my web page a little bit kind of give you guys a look to it. Um, it looks like, you know, some blueprints from an architect. Yeah, here's the architect theme. Not much to say here. All right, guys, next we're going to check out the Cayman theme. All right, guys, let's see what the Cayman theme looks like. Okay, interesting. I like the green, the green titles and stuff. And you can click here to view on GitHub. That's cool. One thing I don't like about the Cayman theme is on all the other themes, you can click to go back to the home page. I don't see a way to click because usually the title radiation modeling is at the top. This one doesn't have that. So you got to manually go back to the home page. There we go. All right. So this should be the dinky theme. Let's check it out. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. Okay. You got this black thing on the left. Oh, it doesn't move when you scroll down. That's cool. This one looks kind of cool. I'd say, you know, it's kind of basic. Keep having to refresh every page. There we go. It's kind of basic, you know, just black and red, but looks nice. All right, let's check out the hacker theme. I'm pretty excited for this one. Ooh, cool. Yeah, this one looks like the command line kind of it looks kind of cool. I don't know. Personally, doesn't look as professional, in my opinion. The one good thing about this one, though, it does have that link to the home page. I seem I really do like that. I mean, it's just personal preference, but yeah, it also has like this glowing look to all the links. All right, guys, next up is Leap Day. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, wow. OK, so this one got the blue and yellow. Looks kind of cool. And these things like don't move when you scroll through. Kind of reminds me of like a blog for some reason. Oh, and we have a little table of contents over here, which I do like. I don't think, I'm not sure if the other ones had that. So that's kind of fun. Pros of this one, I like the table of contents. I don't really like the look of this yellow and blue much, but that's just me. All right, guys, next up is Merlot. Uh-huh, okay, this one is interesting. I like this design it's got up here. Um, it's got really big margins. Everything's like right in the middle, but it looks pretty nice. I like the style. Bullet points have this little yellow arrow, which is kind of cool. Fits into the theme pretty well. Merlot doesn't have a way of going back to the home page. You have to manually do it. All right, guys. Next up is Midnight. Let's see how this one looks. So I was imagining something more dark, but it's you know dark gray. I like how it has my own, a link to my, oh, that's cool. It links back to my GitHub account. So the good things about this one, it's got a, this really, the, the buttons pop out at you. Like view on GitHub is really popping out to me. Uh, my own name is popping out to me right there. And it looks, you know, decently professional, but I don't really like the yellow and the green arrows. Not the biggest fan. All right, guys, next up is Minima. Wow, this is very minimal. So, okay, almost looks just like the basic uh, GitHub pages without any themes. Looks like these are all of the markdown files in my repository just up at the top. 
So I guess that's nice if you want to just have everything like out there and available. I'm not the hugest fan. I mean, it doesn't have anywhere saying my name or a link to my repository. And it's a little bit, I think it's almost not as good as the default just by looks. All right, guys. So that was Minima. This next one's Minimal with L at the end. So let's see how Minimal looks. Oh, I like this one. Looks very nice. Super professional. I like this thing on the left with um, the repository. I think if I click on this, yeah, it goes to the homepage. You can view on GitHub. It has my name right there. That's nice. Okay. I clicked on a link and all of a sudden now I don't like it. Why is every like the left side and the right side are way separated? So I would say minimal. The main page looks cool. If you only have one page, one markdown file in your repository, that's probably uh, good to use this one. But it's kind of broken if you use any other things, honestly. So, all right, guys, this next one is called Modernist. So let's give it a look. Ooh, don't like this one. <laughs> it's very simple, though. And we got my name at the bottom. You have a big button to view on GitHub, which is cool. So, yeah, personally, I uh, don't like this color scheme. It makes me feel like I'm using like an iPhone 3 or something. I don't know why. Um, but, you know, it's got a very simple look to it. The font's nice. All right, guys, next up we have Slate. Let's see how this one looks. Oh, this one's nice. This black banner is very professional looking. It's got the repository in a description. We got the view on GitHub button. Other than that, you know, it's very basic, like the default almost. All right, guys. Next up is tactile. Let's see how this one looks. Okay, tactile is not bad. It doesn't have the name of my repository at the top. I like the red, looks pretty nice. Okay, this is weird. It has the, the title is the markdown files title, but the description is the whole repository's description. So that kind of is a little weird to me. I mean, the code blocks look pretty nice, how they're really distinguished as black. All right, guys, last of these supported themes, at least on this list, is Time Machine. Let's give it a look. Ooh, this one's kind of cool. Got some like semi-cursive font at the top. And here's like a nice code. Like you can know this is to find the code because it has that little design. That's nice. I do like this at the top as you go to different sections, it shows it up up here. That's cool. I like that a lot. Oh, and then down here it even has my picture. That's a nice touch as well. Oh my goodness. I think the the code blocks have lines attached. If that's the case, I'll be very happy with this one. All right, guys. So I, I'm doing a quick little test. I wrote a code block of test code. I'm just curious if this theme does have lines. It does. Oh man. That's one thing I, one pet peeve about markdown files on GitHub. They don't have the line numbers. So this is really nice. All right, guys, so that was my overview and blind reaction to all these themes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please comment down below what was your favorite theme. Personally, my favorite was Cayman. I liked a lot. Um, I like Time Machine. So thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you later.